Hi guys, Ka here. So, my topic for today is uh, these massive tanks. So, tanks uh, are big uh, machines. And when it comes to tanks like these, uh, these things are powerful. Extremely thick metal, extremely thick and powerful armor, and uh, can go anywhere except for water. <laughs> so, this uh, is a real life tank, and just look at the size. And it's so slippery. Whee! So, the main part of the tank is this uh, cannon. <laughs> that hurt a lot. So, this uh, is a massive cannon to shoot bullets uh, like the size of a hand. That's massive. There are many other tanks over there. And my favorite out of all of them has to be that, that one over there in that corner. Those things are massive. So the engine of these machines is located in the back. It's fairly quiet. So its tanks have to be quiet to not blow their cover. So guys, I made it. So I, if this were to be a tiny chair to sit in, I would perfectly fit perfectly fine and still have a ton more space left. So these are the gear wheels. So these are the only wheels that powered by the engine, which is back here. So you open this part back here to reveal the engine. And this is a caterpillar thread. So it covers a long part of the ground. So it's called a caterpillar track because when it uh, when it is going over objects, for example this, it can cross and go over it easily. So this is a perfect example. So you guys see this right here. This is an example of a caterpillar track. So one wheel doesn't touch the ground. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Touch the ground. And then this gear wheel is the one powered by the engine and then works. So this is an Indian tank. Just look at the size of this thing. So, you come up here, you open it from here. It's hard to open, but it's stuck. But um, the thing about tanks is they're massive. And also, you can see these tiny holes here, which are like to show, to let the driver or the person who's Mm, the captain of this entire machine uh, see from here all around 360 degrees. So there are other tanks as well. So let me show you more. So guys, I'm going to a literal machine gun. <laughs> ah. so this is a tiny cannon over here. Few giant cannons over there. And this is a literal machine gun over here. So these are caterpillar tires and gears, gear wheels to make it move. So the, these boxes here are cargo. And this thing is massive. So coming from back, you see these massive wheels. So, an American, uh, American M1 and uh, Abrams tank is like a tank which is tiny compared to this thing. So, 
So we learned that these machines have thick armor and also like curvature so any penetrating bullet will just shoot off instead of penetrating. Imagine like something made out of metal or anything like this. A hard or soft object hits it, it goes up or anywhere like diagonal and then even go backwards that's pretty rare. so this curvature and sharp angles on a tank is for the reason and that reason is to not allow anything to penetrate the armor and also that these have massive wheels to go over anything and these have caterpillar tracks to go over any obstacle so here's how it, a caterpillar track works so imagine this is going over like something like for example a car or a bump a massive bump so it would these caterpillar wheels will just lift up and then keep going until it goes over the thing so that's how caterpillar pillar wheels work so the treads are like powerful metal pieces which are powerful i mean supporting a few hundred or even sometimes extremely rarely thousand ton tank those things are massive and back here is the engine let's look at the size <laughs> this could be like oh my god there's oil and liquid don't go in there so this is the engine in the back very bad so if you would try to steal this thing first fix the engine <laughs> So let's see this one. So this is a massive beast of a tank. So this um, is the like uh, this is the body, so, and this um, is the turret. So here. Uh, you go around around like this can move all around if it's a, a powerful tank it can go faster if, uh, less powerful move around in a circle slower but uh, just look at the size these tanks are massive and this turret this is the main body arm stepping on this is the turret which can spin around so that's the main cannon and other smaller or or bigger tanks have a machine gun on top so there can be four people or more so like one person machine gun one driver one putting the bullets in the main machine gun so guys, I hope you learned something new from this video and I'll see you next time. Love is.